me and my friends, we came out here to share a message with you all, and it's regarding where you will spend your eternity. My friends, the reality is that life is short, life is temporary, and one day you and I will stand before a holy God, and you'll be judged according to all you have done on this earth, whether good or bad. The problem is, my friends, is that all of us have sinned against God. The Bible says that no one is good, no, not one. All have sinned, and all fall short of the glory of God. My friends, the reality is that every single one of us need God's mercy. We need forgiveness from God. Why? Because we have lied, stolen, cheated. We have broken God's law, and therefore we have been separated from God. My friends, if we die in this state of separation from God, we'll be separated from Him for all eternity in hell. But the good news I have for you today is that God doesn't want you to go to hell. God wants you to go to heaven. And He made a way for you to go to heaven. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, so that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, will not go to hell, but will have everlasting life. My friends, if you want to have 100% certainty that you are on your way to heaven, you must give your life to Jesus, my friends. Jesus is the only way to heaven. 2,000 years ago, Jesus came on this earth. He lived the perfect life that no man could live, and therefore Jesus was qualified to become the perfect sacrifice when he died on the cross for your sins. My friends, the reality is that all of us are sinners, and the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. The consequence for sin is death and judgment. But the good news is that Jesus took the judgment upon himself. Jesus took the punishment for your sins upon himself when he hung on that cross. So the punishment of God that you deserve, the wrath of God, that you deserve was placed upon Jesus on that cross so that you don't have to take it, my friends. And though after Jesus died, he was buried. But three days later, Jesus rose again from the dead. And Jesus is alive today. When Jesus rose again, he was seen by many witnesses. And the people testified of what they have seen and heard. And that is how Christianity spread on the earth today. And the same message is true today, that Jesus died according to the scriptures. He rose again according to the scriptures. And if you believe in Jesus Christ, my friends, you can have forgiveness for your sins and you can have eternal life. My encouragement for you today is to strongly consider where you will spend your eternity, my friends. My friends, this life on this earth is temporary. This life is short. And one day you will stand before God and you will be judged and you will either spend eternity in heaven or you will spend eternity in hell. My friends, the only way to heaven is the way of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. You shall be forgiven. You can be free from sin. And my friends, ultimately, you can have eternal life. My friends, I want to encourage you today to call upon the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says that there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved except for the name of Jesus. If you turn to Jesus today, my friends, your sins can be forgiven. You can have assurance that after this life, you will spend eternity in heaven. There is no other way to heaven, my friends. It is only Jesus Christ who can forgive you of your sins, and it is only Him who can give you eternal life, my friends.